I'm gonna share a secret with you guys, which I'm hoping you won't judge me too much for. The secret is I've actually been enjoying being injured a little bit. Hey team, how's it going? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, I'm Sid. And I am Mackie. And on this channel, we're sharing the mountain bike race experience with you. Those of you who have been following the channel know that four weeks ago, I had a follow-up appointment with a shoulder specialist in Arkansas, and we decided not to surgically repair my shoulder. Jig. No, <laughs> no surgery. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. You're a freak of nature. Oh, I'm so happy. Further confirming that Mackie is a freak of nature. <laughs> His supposed grade five AC separation has been declassified <laughs> as a grade three and no surgery. Yes. A few days later, we said goodbye to our friends, Alex and Kelsey, whose house we had been staying in in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and headed north to Sid's parents' house in Athens, Ohio. We generally spend a month or so in Athens each year over the Thanksgiving holiday and usually take some time away from our bikes to reset before the serious winter training begins. I couldn't ride anyway and focused on strengthening my shoulder based on recommendations from our PT Dane. I started off with lighter exercises against the wall before moving to similar exercises with a band to provide a bit more resistance. The idea with these exercises is to strengthen all the muscles in the shoulder and to activate them in both pushing and pulling movements. So a lot of them look similar, but one way is pushing and the other pulling. There are also a lot of them, 14 to be exact, so it's a pretty time consuming regimen. But hey, what else was I gonna do? After a couple of weeks of those, Dane gave me some other exercises to do three times a week, so I've been alternating days doing the banded exercises and the new stuff, which includes TRX push-ups, which I was surprised to find I could actually do. During this time, our coach Mike continued to have me doing body rate exercises with the blood flow restriction bands and light spinning on the trainer. as well as some running in preparation for the Thanksgiving Day Turkey Trot 5K. <laughs> Man, it feels really nice to get to go hard after not doing anything very hard for like six weeks at this point because of my shoulder. So I pushed myself pretty good. That's the benefit of having no idea how fast your pace should be is I just like, well, I think I can go faster. So I went a little faster. Um, I ran according to Strava, which, you know, we all know the accuracy there, but 657 minute splits or miles. So, hey, that's way better than the last time I ran one of these. So I am stoked. Then he decided I was ready to work a bit harder. I'm gonna share a secret with you guys, which I'm hoping you won't judge me too much for. The secret is I've actually been enjoying being injured a little bit because I can't train. I feel guilty about saying that because I race bikes professionally. I should be like, oh my gosh, I can't ride and train. I'm so miserable. But the truth is, I guess I needed a break or something because I'm just not that disappointed about not being able to train. I definitely have been jealous when Sid has been able to go out and ride with her parents and like comes back and says, man, the trails are in amazing condition. Like it was beautiful out there today. The weather was perfect. Definitely jealous then, but really just kind of relieved about not being able to train. All of that to say, it has been a little over six weeks and Mike has decided it is time for me to start training again. So I'm here in the rip cave. For those of you who have been watching our channel since last year, you will recognize the Rip Cave. Last year, we were on the spin bike and then rollers and the Rip Row. This year, we have the Expedo Smart Trainer, the APX Pro, which is helpful for when you're injured and can't use your arms properly because you don't have to be on rollers. I'll be using the Stages Dash uh, and this is the new one, the M50. And one of the things I love about it is that you can load workouts onto this and it walks you through the workouts. Alexa, play me some music.
Well, back to intervals, I guess. When the floor looks like that, you know it was a good workout. That was really hard. Exciting day, guys. I'm doing it. I'm going to ride outside for the first time in exactly seven weeks. It is seven weeks ago today that I uh, made a poor decision on a porch drop and ended up in the ER. What's actually really interesting is it's not my shoulder that has been my limiting factor for probably three weeks, at least two weeks. I've been doing a bunch of shoulder exercise and it feels fairly good. It's actually still my wrists and forearms that are the reason that I have not tried riding outside earlier. I had x-rays done on my wrists. My wrist is not broken. I'm sure I strained it or sprained it or, you know, whatever. Between my forearms and my wrists, they were so sore that I couldn't hold the handlebars properly. And just like yesterday, as I was training on the indoor trainer, I realized that like I could hold the handlebar properly and actually grip it a little bit without it hurting my wrists and hands. So I feel confident enough that I can go out there and ride easy on the road bike. I have enough grip strength to be able to stay on the handlebars and properly steer and brake and all those necessary things for not hurting myself again on my first ride back. Time. I can feel my body You're cold against the concrete But I can't seem to get enough My mind is fixed on what it wants I just let you be me Look at me deceiving Let you get the best of me In bed with my worst enemy This is a no go I just can't Take hold This is a danger zone well, I would say that went extremely well, surprisingly well, minus the fact that I crashed, embarrassingly, right back there at the very end of my ride as I was coming into the driveway. My front wheel just washed out. Fortunately, it fell to my right side. Now my right hand is a little bit sore. That was only like five miles and 30 minutes. I should be able to progress to doing longer rides. Makes me very optimistic for next year and coming back stronger than ever. If you missed how I ended up not being able to ride outside for seven weeks, check out this series up here. This follows my progression of the crash and my shoulder and all that. We have some really exciting news about next year, which we aren't gonna share with you guys quite yet, but make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that. We'll see you over at that video in just a second. And in the meantime, don't forget to be more awesome.